Um, I think RCC was great because it helped me first meet lots of friends because we became sort of like a family because we met three, uh, three times a week so it helped me create good friendship and I thought the RCC was very interesting being from Latin America. The fact of being like a freshman, not knowing many people and having kind of just that group of people you can always go to and if you have problems or if you need any questions answered, it really made me feel more comfortable knowing that I had a group of people I could always be around with my freshman semester. Um, RCC was like the first like group of people you meet, so you already get some friends in there and you form like this bond because you have class three times a week at 9am, which is really early and you all basically hate it. But then you come to love it and you have a lot of fun in class and outside of class we do events together and we have really cool peer mentors. So. Um, the Exploring Excellence programs were, were fun. Um, the HeLa debate, I actually really enjoyed because I liked that book, um, and so I thought it was interesting to debate. Um, and um, we did a couple of the movies together, which was fun. Um, I missed a lot of them because I was on a crew for one of the productions. But I know that a lot of the ones that I missed sounded really cool, like Gleaning. Um, who gets to go gleaning? Like, I don't, I'm from, I'm not from Florida, so it sounded kind of cool. Well, going to the events as a group really helped us come together, and I really ended up meeting a lot of friends. They, uh, well, they, like I said earlier, made um, great relationships with other students. It's because of things like that that, you know, you create bonds with them, and just really that's how the friendships were started by being around each other so much so much I think most of the exploring excellences were very interesting because um, we got to see lots of stuff on campus that I didn't even know existed so um, and some of them were very cultural like the one uh, about the day of the day um, they were always available for us. They would text us, you know, their office hours. They'd always, um, they even created a Facebook page, which was really helpful because that um, that let all the students in the RCC um, talk to each other and you know help plan and help each other out with deadlines and things like that. So that, they were really helpful. Um, the peer mentors were really fun and helpful. Like they want to make sure that we transitioned really well into college. And they planned lots of fun things, like for our midterm, we had a um, McDonald's party. Um, Nick brought McDonald's and we all sat down and reviewed what was going to be on the test the next day, which was good. Besides like, it being a bonding experience, we get to the community. We went to Bird um, Creek, uh, the elementary school, and we got to help them set up for a fair. We learned a little bit about the community. Um, well, we, as an RCC, I think we grew closer through them, um, and I think a lot of them were helpful for the community. Like, I did Halloween Howl, which counted as an exploring excellence for me, and that was a lot of fun to see all the kids um, come around trick-or-treating, because that was not something that I expected from Rollins College. Uh, we did uh, various volunteer work, for instance, I know a group of us went to, uh, to an elementary school that you know doesn't have very much, and we helped them set up for a uh, for an outside um, kind of like a fair. And then we did um, we did volunteer work at the beginning of the year as well. So I think we did a good job. I think that's great because then um, it creates friendship and. Even if you have trouble in the middle of the night, you can always come and call it your friend because they look real close. I think so because it's like different, you're living with them and it's a different kind of bond you form with people because they're always around you and so it's not just like friends just at school and you're just like so I'm seeing again until the next day. You actually get to like see them outside of like the actual class so you get to be yeah, kind of friends with them and not just like Well, since we all live together, like we have to communicate learn about each other, um, which I actually quite like because 
if you need help on Hellmark, you can just text someone or like knock on their door and they'd be willing to help you. Um, and I learned a lot about different people's perspectives, especially um, the people who were not from America originally, like Camila and Paulina. Um, when we were studying Brazil, Camila was really, it was really, really interesting to see her perspective um, coming from Brazil, especially in the movies, like was it realistic or not? Uh, it made us more aware of how other people live around, especially around our area, because we're kind of like in this little bubble at Rollins, but um, with some of the events, we, like I said, we would travel outside of Winter Park and we see, you know, the other side. And I think it made the class as a whole aware of how other people, you know, have to live. I think RCC is very important. It creates a family, someone, uh, sort of a support group, as well as learning from uh, something not actually from books, but something you use in life. Um, I think the RCC is rather important. I know a lot of schools do like a freshman seminar, um, and I think it's really great because you get to know upperclassmen, you get to know classmen like freshmen, and um, Dr. B is great, and I'm really really happy that I got put in his RCC because I wasn't too excited to be in it at the beginning, but once I met the people and like actually started doing it, it was really cool. I think for us as freshmen, it's creating that stable ground, um, creating friendships to begin with because everyone's so worried about you know who you're going to hang out with, who you're going to sit with at, um, at lunch. Just minor things like that and having the RCC group took care of all of it. I know everyone in my RCC pretty well. They all live right on the same floor pretty much and I, that really helped me make a lot of friends and I really feel comfortable with them. Enough to do laundry together and go to the bathroom and have <laughs> shower parties. Hector? Is, Hector! He is one funny guy. You know, I really didn't didn't see him as a funny guy at first. I thought he was kind of like all down to business, but he has a soft side to him, which I really And then Summer, what can I say? She is really a unique individual. I really I really love her. She's so funny and nice and she shares all her personal videos with us and you know she's kind of like one of the girls. I think they're great. <laughs> Nick's really super organized and definitely like a leader and Summer is the fun, spunky one who is always keeping us interested, so props. Well Nick was really helpful in lots of like reminders. Um, if we had a big event coming up, he would always you know, put up something on the Facebook page and he would text us and you know if we wanted some kind of food he would ask what we would bring and Summer was just really fun and she just brought a lot of fun stuff to the table. She was always happy. Oh gosh, um, Hector and Summer are great. Uh, they actually really try to make sure that you're enjoying your first semester as a freshman. And it's really tough because, I mean, come, everybody comes from like far away. You're not used to college. And they really try to make sure that you settle in. They're always there for you. They're really I love her for your mentors. <laughs> they were great, very supportive, and um, always available to help us and taking care of us all the time.